fundamental question is, how do you plan to keep the lights on? Uh, and if you don't like nuclear power, if you're going to mine coal, boy, a lot of people get killed doing that. Uh, you're going to burn oil. Well, that's not too great. Uh, you got to decide how you're going to keep the lights on, and that is not simple. More have died in chemical mining and all other activities. The fear of relating a nuclear power plant to a bomb is simply wrong. Okay. And d just tell us a little bit about who, who you are. My name is Greg Roberts. I'm one of the co-authors of the nanothermite paper, the active thermitic material discovered in dust from the World Trade Center catastrophe. Uh, I'm a technical writer, a business analyst, and um, mostly helped express the paper in a way that we hoped everyone can understand. It's somewhat intimidating because it's long, but uh, there's very little math and there's, there's pictures for people, so we're hoping that we'll get some, uh, some broad recognition in addition to the targeted awareness of the paper that uh, We Are Change is helping happen with, uh, helping make happen in Washington and other places. I think the program calls for uh, until about nine o'clock. Tom will be signing uh, and selling books and there's a reception, I understand, in the bag of love. So, those of you want to read? So are, are you are, uh, uh, and you're familiar with like nano energetics background? Yes, a yes, bit? yes, okay. yes, yes. Hey, did you hear about the paper that was put out by the nine scientists from around the world where they found the advanced thermitic material in the dust from the World Trade Center? Basically, I have, I have, I have, I have seen, I have seen some of those things. And so, what? Who do you think des who designed I, that nanothermite that was put in the tower? But see, nanothermite can be generated by burning fires and concrete and so on. With the lay, with the you, precise you, micron, you know what layer? a thermite? Uh -huh. Yeah, thermite, but not nano thermite. No, no, here, what is oh, thermite? Yeah. You know what it is? Thermite. It's a very simple thing. Yeah. If you take iron oxide, hmm? mm -hmm. rust. Right. Iron oxide is rust, and take pure aluminum. Yes. Simple aluminum. Combine them. Yeah, heat that, mm -hmm. and then iron oxide will make it aluminum oxide, and iron will become molten, and it just pass through. Right. Like butter. Right. You can take half inch thick. Iron plate, okay? It just goes through that. So spontaneous thermite. No, no reaction. Yes. Yeah. But but this now, is nanothermite, though. Here, Are you explaining yeah, nanothermite? Yeah. Okay. So good. look at this. So you have iron in the building. Okay. You have rust. You have aluminum in the plane, mm -hmm. right? Then you are burning at high temperature. It's mm -hmm. no surprising. Some nano phase got created. It's not out, right? You have iron. Uh huh. Oxide, yes. rust. Oh, I see. The, I see the possibility of a, therm, a thermitic combination yes. deep in the pit. But we're not talking about. We're talking about nanothermite. I understand. You, you've seen it. The red layer of you know a less sub 100 micron. No, no. But I. But you the red understand. layer versus. So first, it's, first, it's definitely nanotechnology. It's not spontaneous no, 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 thermite. Not no, no, but, but you, so you agree at least the thermite reaction will happen there. It's possible. I'm, no, no, it would I'm, definitely. It definitely would happen. Deep in aluminum. The pit. No, no, everywhere. Aluminum and yeah, iron oxide. I, 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 the bars, I there is rust on no, the steel that burner. Last, uh -huh. last to go so that is inevitable. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. and, the, the, and, and would it the, the create a higher temperature than the, the jet fuel, the combination? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. yes. The, the, the temperature is in the range of 3,500 3, to 4,000 degrees. And how Thermite you, reaction. And you're familiar with all of the evidence around, like, they didn't no, find a thousand I, bodies. I, no, 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 not I, a fragment. No, 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 I'm not familiar with many, many things. You're not? But you, no, no, I'm not. But you are, you said a specific question about yes. nanothermite. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, scientifically, I know how you could have produced that. Uh-huh. Okay? And but you are right. I mean, many questions have not been fully explained. We're going to show you a video tape of the collapse itself. Now we're going to video I don't see how an expert in nano energetics could think that you could form nanothermite spontaneously. He didn't say how he thought that could occur. Um, I will say why I don't think it can occur. 
the particle sizes are extremely uniform. The particles of iron oxide and aluminum were embedded in a rigid dried sol gel mixture. They weren't just loose crystals of iron oxide and aluminum. Um, those two things alone just seem to rule it out as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, did you, do you want a copy of the paper or have you looked at oh, it? Oh, I'll be happy for this. Wow, a lot of paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a great copy. You can get a better one online. It's completely open science. Where is it? It's at uh, the Open uh, uh, Chemical Physics Journal. Oh, that's, that's good. No, yeah. I don't need that. Open chemical physics. Yeah, I have the abstract have, if you want. Here's the yeah, abstract. Then, then I, can, I, can, I can do the search. I can great. save you the paper. Great. And just briefly, what has been the uh, reaction of the scientific community in general so far to, your, to the paper? Silence. I think it means, first, a reluctance to take the issue seriously in the first place. And a lack of any way to dismiss our findings. So those two things combined naturally lead to denial. And then can we? Can I contact you with your uh, insights on it about, about I, I whether you think it was spontaneous? I will or be happy to talk to you. Alright, yes. thank you sir, thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, sure. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good night. I hope that he follows through on what he said about staying in communication with you folks and that, that he will respond when you point out these things and after he's had a chance to actually read the paper. He agreed that he hadn't read the paper actually. So from my reading, his opinion was uninformed. We need an explanation of how asymmetrical damage led to a symmetrical result, how it produced that result at two-thirds of free fall in the case of the Twin Towers, and admittedly pure free fall for two seconds at Building 7. NIST admitting that, under pressure, admitting that that was what happened to Building 7, admitting in a previous briefing or, or press conference that free fall means there was no supporting structure. If free fall happened and it, you agree that it means there's no supporting structure, what happened to the structure? You can't blame the top part that's falling for the destruction of the lower part because it wasn't resisting anything. So it's essentially an admission of controlled demolition. They just don't want to say that for understandable reasons. Thank you very much for, for your work and for your work with the other scientists who helped produce this paper. Thank you. You're welcome and thank you. Yeah.